to, to play with him. Uh, and, you know, he finds a good pass. And for me, playing uh, a little more outside, but I was able to find some pockets. And you know, the timing was on. He was finding me at the right time, and we had some good, uh, good little connections between uh, him, myself, Michael, and, and Josie. And obviously, I, th I think uh, we created enough chances to win tonight. And, uh, and on another day, Josie might have had a hat trick. Still, what can say about Polish middle line today? Okay. On the middle? Yeah, Poland, uh, they played kind of a, uh, almost a five man midfield and some good players on the ball. And uh, you know, the deep guy dropping off a little bit killed us at times because he kept getting on the ball and, and finding some passes. And you know, they found the seams well. And we, you, we knew they were a good team coming into it. So um, obviously, uh, you know, you have to credit them for the way they were, they were able to pass the ball a little bit and move it, and move it around. How, how did the guys react to the crowd? Yeah, the crowd was was great. You, you like you always like it when there's a bit of atmosphere. You know, there was a, a good Polish turnout, but at the same time, you, you know, you can't take away from the U.S. fans that turned out and were loud and uh, and and energetic. And then there were moments where you could have maybe put the foot on the pedal. It didn't happen. Yeah. What what what's your thoughts on why that was the case? Yeah, I think you know it was the first thing we all said when the final whistle blew. Was, uh, um, you know, we, we, we did enough to, to get ahead twice, but at the same time, after, as soon as those goals went in, it was it was almost like the whole level dropped and we were just happy to, to sit in a little bit and soak up a bit of pressure. And that gave Poland some confidence and allowed them to pass the ball and get back into the game. So I think when uh, when we get the lead, we, we can't rest on that. we got to keep pushing and try and, uh, try and make it, get that extra goal, make it 3-1 or get the goal that makes it 2-0. So I think that's just part of becoming a, a better team and a team that can uh, can finish out games. Stu, how does the team feel coming off this coming off this result? You know, usually results make you feel real good about yourself. Maybe they make you feel like you got a lot of stuff to improve. Where where do you feel now you're at? Uh, I'd say in between. I think we can take a lot of positives tonight. I think if you look at, especially for periods of the first half, some of the chances we created, um, you know, some little combinations, and, and that's what we've been working on all week is finding that little the right pass at the right time. and. So obviously we can take some positives in that, but at the same time, uh, you know, we have to, uh, as I said before, we have to learn how to win games and, you know, sometimes don't try and play out of the back and, you know, although we have the players and the ability to do it, sometimes you have to just turn them and, and dump it in the corner.